Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So thank you very much for watching this video and also for watching the other videos that I did on Magic Leap. So if you haven't watched them, just go into my description of this video and make sure that you check those out. I am also pretty happy because I'm gonna walk you through creating a certificate for the Magic Leap. The reason why you need a certificate is because that's gonna be one of the requirements in order for you to get your application deployed to the Magic Leap. I personally have been developing games for iOS and also applications and their process was very difficult. Nothing compared to the Magic Leap where it's really just a click of a button and then moving a couple of files around and you should be ready to get those certificates you know, out of your application. So let's get going. I'm gonna show you step by step in my computer and then by the end of this video, you should have everything you need to get your application deployed. All right, guys, so let me show you how to create a certificate. So the first thing that you'll need to do is log in to the creator.magicleap.com, then click on Learn. Once you click on Learn, we're going to go into Develop, Developer Setup. And in the previous video, I walk you through creating, basically downloading the Looming SDK and setting up the environment variables. So I'm going to have you scroll down all the way to where it says Certs and App Signing. So if you are familiar with iOS development, iOS development is very tedious and to create a certificate is a big long process and I was really surprised how easy it is to create a certificate. So the reason why you need a certificate for Magic Leap is because when you push a game using Unity or any other editor, you're going to be required to have a certificate. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to basically follow the steps, which is they're really, really straightforward. So it tells you here that we're gonna go into, you know, to generate a certificate, you need to go to the portal, which we did, then click on publish and then certificate. So we're gonna do that. I'm just gonna open a new tab to do that so that we can look at the documentation if we need to. And, and it's fairly simple. So if you already have a, have a publisher account, which I'm pretty sure you do if you're already at this point, if you don't, you have to sign in either as an individual or as a legal entity. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use, you know, the account that I have already, which is as an individual, then we're gonna go into certificates. And I already created a certificate before, but I deleted it just purely because I want to, I wanna show you how to do it. So it'll ask you what kind of certificate type we want. We definitely want development. Looks like that's the only option available. And then we only wanna look at active. So then just click on, click on new. And it's gonna tell you, you know, what certificate type you want, which looks like it's disabled, because that's the only option. We want a development certificate. And then it's gonna tell you to give, you know, to provide a label. I'm just gonna give it an initial development label. Then we're gonna click on create. And it's gonna generate a SCR file, which then you're gonna download to your computer. So we give a few seconds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open a new folder too where I'm going, to be putting, I'm going to be putting these certificates. It's really important that you remember where you have this. So I'm going to go and go into games, and I believe I created a folder before, but if I didn't, I'll just delete that one. Then I'm just going to create a new. Looks like I have development tools. Okay, that's, that's for something else. So let's just create a folder in a directory where you want to have the certificates. Remember that you need to remember this because you're gonna need them for publishing your game or your application to the Magic Leap device. So I'm just gonna call this Magic Leap Certs, and that's where we're gonna put it. Then looks like a certificate, it, there's a message saying your certificate is being created and verified on our servers. Click check in a few minutes, and this process is fairly fast. I'm pretty sure if I refresh, it's gonna show it, and looks like it did. Then the next thing that you need to do is just click on download and it's going to give us a file and what it actually did it installed a certificate in my key change so that's great and that's what we need the other thing that it did it also downloaded a private key so we're going to need both so what i'm going to do is i'm going to on the left side i'm going to have the folder where i want to have my certificate and i'm going to drag and drop the initial development cert and we also are going to need to extract the private key and we're gonna just double click it and I'm gonna drag and drop the private key to that directory. So as a result, you should have a cert extension and also a private key extension. So now if we go back to our documentation, 
that's really everything that you need to do as far as like generating a certificate and generating a private key. The, the reason why I told you that you need to have this directory and you need to remember this directory is because later on, if you're using Unity, like I'm using on Unreal, you're gonna need to provide that path whenever the application is to be bundled and signed. So for now, we're okay. Just remember that path. And then on the next video, I'm gonna show you how we can bundle a simple application and basically build it and deploy it to the Magic Leap. So if you guys have any other questions, let me know through the comments. I'm always happy to you know, help you out in solving some of the issues that you may have. And if you don't, let's just check out the next video. Thank you guys. And don't forget to share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.